Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to display and store your books so that there'll be less clutter and more reading. Research has shown that there are many benefits to reading. Reading builds empathy, develops good communication skills, increases attention span, strengthens cognitive development and more. As a result, parents are more willing to buy books for their children. Does more books means more benefits for your kids and more joy at home? Not necessarily. What if your kids are throwing the books all around the house? What if your kids are not flipping through and reading the books? What if the books that you buy for your kids create more pain in your life? Clutter in the physical environment may impact the mind. In addition, when the books are not organized, children are less inclined to reach out and read the books. It's like how we open our wardrobe, look at all the clothes and say, we have nothing to wear. In this video, I want to focus on how to make the books accessible to your children, reduce clutter in your home, and at the same time, cultivate independence and develop responsibility in your children. Sounds good? Let's get started. For those of you who have young children, you want to encourage your little ones to be able to see the books. So placing them side by side may not be the best way to attract them. I recommend front-facing books in your home if you have young toddlers. The covers of little children's books are generally colourful and attractive. Let your kids see these covers. Let's compare the front-facing display versus the books that are placed side by side with the spines facing you. Which arrangement will entice you to reach for the books? For your young toddlers, definitely the front-facing display. I use these IKEA shelves. There are grooves in the shelves so the books sit really nicely on them. Where possible, place the shelves lower so your kids can reach for the books without having to keep calling for you. If you do not want to drill the shelves on your walls, I have some alternatives for you. You can use this bamboo plate holder from IKEA. It is very affordable and you can display a handful of books. I also use this tablet stand holder to occasionally display interesting books or pages from a magazine. Otherwise, I just lean the books against a stack of books or place on any existing surfaces like the TV consoles or small desks. Even if you have older children, having these front-facing books will also pique their interest and encourage them to reach for the books as well. What comes to your mind when you think of independent readers? They are excited when they see books or any print materials, they are motivated to read, and they are able to reach out for the books and return them on their own. This is why you need to make the books accessible to your children and one way is to use low storage units like baskets. I have baskets in different corners of the house, the living room, bedroom and playroom. Avoid putting too many books in one basket so your children can flip through and return the books easily. Assign different baskets to different types of books. For example, I have one basket for library books. So when it is time for a library run, the kids know where to collect the library books, pack them into a bag and bring them on the trip to the library. I also have a basket for magazines. The kids know exactly where to find the magazines without me having to show them. Similarly, they know where to return the magazines as they tidy their play space and reading corners. I've added links to some of the baskets below. I understand that there are space constraints at home and it is not possible to have all your books in the front-facing manner. It is perfectly okay to have your books placed side by side as well. In this cabinet, I keep some of the book series that my kids enjoy. This cabinet is right next to the sofa. It is a common sight in my home where the kids will reach for the books in this cabinet and plop themselves on the sofa to enjoy the stories. For deeper shelves, I use this recycled hard cardboard to prop the books at the back to create a second layer. 
This way, the kids can see part of the titles and have the freedom to reach for them if they want to. You can create your own shelves with these crates from IKEA. Turn them around and they can be placed at little corners around the house. Add a little cushion and stuffed toys. You have created an inviting reading nook for your child. Other than the cabinet, I have the IKEA Caleb's shelf where I store some of the kids' board books and series books. I mix books of different languages together to encourage the kids to read widely. This is entirely up to you and your children. As my kids are still young, I arrange the books according to the colours of the book spines and then according to height. It helps my kids to return the books when they are done, hence developing a sense of responsibility in them. Notice that I do not put out all the books that we own. I want to avoid overwhelm, hence I rotate the books occasionally. The purpose of book rotation is to reduce the sheer number of books in your children's sight. And it helps them make up their mind more easily when they are going to pick up a story for their bedtime reading. With less books out, it makes cleanup easier too. Note that there are no fixed rules when it comes to book rotation. Don't feel the pressure to have to keep rotating the books very often. We are all so busy as parents. What I find helpful is to make my book rotation system simple and fast-free. Let me share it with you. For example, I will rotate the books in the baskets and front-facing shelves. So sometimes, I'll just switch from the bottom to the top. Other times, I'll switch the books from the Kallax shelf to the wall mount shelves or to the book corners. In my bid to avoid overwhelm, I installed doors to the Kallax shelves as well as used bins to keep the other books. These bins are also from IKEA and they can store quite a lot of books. I've added the link below. The out-of-rotation books can include seasonal books like the Halloween books and Christmas stories or books that your kids are no longer reading. By displaying and storing your kids' books in an organised manner, there is less clutter at home, you make it easier for your children to reach out and read the books and at the same time, cultivate independence and develop responsibility in your children. Thank you for watching the video. If you have gained some insights, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be informed of any new videos that I publish. Goodbye!